Let's continue adding detail around the wheel area of the train. Let's go to the left viewport, uh, layer manager, unhide the blueprints. We'll stay on the wheels uh, layer. Okay. Now, wherever these leaf springs are, these green arches we made earlier in the exercises, um, there's this little, uh, like a loop, a metal loop. I believe it kind of clamps down. We're going to actually um, isolate the blueprint first. F3, hide unselected, or Alt and Q you can do as well. So I did Alt Q. We'll just wait for that to isolate. There we go. And um, it's just a simple loop shape. So we're going to do it with a shape rectangle. I'm pretty sure it's probably uh, symmetric at both ends. And I'm going to come roughly to halfway down the wheel just as a guess. Couldn't find great reference because this is on the inside of the chassis. Okay, so now um, I'm going to convert this to an editable spline. Actually undo that. Let's first give it a corner radius. Um, F3 so we can see what's going on. That looks good right there. And now convert to edible spline. Okay. Let's check the vertex. There's double on a double vert right there in one spot. So we're going to weld these, fuse and weld. Because we're using splines, we fuse then weld. Let's do the same at the bottom. Fuse then weld. And let's do this. Let's go in. Uh, scale tool. Select the whole spline by going to the top of the stack. And let's just shift and scale as a copy. And now it's not proportionate to what we need. So I'm just going to scale it just like that. Maybe up this way a little bit. Just so it feels like it should. And that looks better. We can adjust the points if we want. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Move tool. Remember earlier about the Bezier handles, um, if we hit the arrow in this direction, we can manipulate the handles in that direction. And it seems like that's not a Bezier, but a Bezier corner. Let's make it a Bezier. Click on that handle and drag a little bit, just like that. That's perfect. Let's do the same at the other end. Right click, Bezier. Click on that arrow and pull it out, just like that. Okay. So now, <clears throat> let's grab the outer spline, and let's attach it to the other one, using attach, attach, turn off the attach, perspective viewport. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is, rather than just an extrusion, I'm going to use bevel, uh, I think we used that earlier, and uh, I'm going to change the values a little bit, I don't think this piece should be quite so thick, so um, 0.25 for the first value. I don't actually don't mind the look of that. We're going to just tweak that a little bit. Um, this value will put to 0 0.1. Let's see, does that do anything? Let's go to 0 0.15. It's a little difficult to see. Okay, I'm going to make this 0.25 as well. Oop. 0.25. There we go. And that's more what I was hoping for. F4. That looks good. Uh, let's call this spring underscore bracket. Okay. And now what we're going to do is um, a little different from what's in the blueprint. Let's unhide everything. Let's exit isolation. Zoom in on the part with Z. Okay. I'm going to bring it forward. So that's at the back side of the leaf spring. Just like that. <clears throat> and then I'm also going to shift it down a bit. Just like this. Now what we want to do is I want to take that and I want to shift and drag it with the move tool to the back of the spring, just like that. F4. That looks kind of like what we we're hoping for. And then we're going to make a little pin or a little um, cylinder. I'll go to the left viewport. That goes right through that opening. So I'm going to go to uh, geometry, cylinder. Just drag out a little cylinder right here, give a little depth, and align it to that part. Got a lot of stuff going on. That's uh, we can isolate this stuff if we want to, but I'm feeling like I can get away with this. There we go. Add a little height. Okay, let's move it back because the height's coming towards us. A little more height, 
just like that. And let's take that, convert it really quickly to edible poly. And let's shift and drag it to the next, uh, next clamp thing there. There we go. And let's also select four of them or just like that. And let's just shift and drag them to the next section, just like that. Okay. And again, right down the line. Okay, make, make sure it's uh, centered on each section, just like that. One more time. There we go. Okay, F4 to see what we have. Let's hide the blueprints really quick. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, we're going to make a little, a little strap that goes across the top or a little clamp of each of these so that attaches it to the spring. So I'm going to select one spring. Let's get the other one. Alt and Q. Oops, sorry about that. Alt and Q. There we go. Top viewport. And what I'm going to do is make a plane. So I'm going to go to um, Create Panel Geometry Plane. Let's drag a plane out. I'm not going to use Auto Grid this time. Just like that. Go to Perspective. Let's raise it up above everything. Just like that. Zoom in. Give it a little rotate in a second. First, let's give it enough segments to do what we'd like to do. 10 and 3. Editable poly. We right click on the name, convert to editable poly. And instead of using any conform or anything like that, like we did earlier, what I'm just going to do is um, I'm going to manually uh, manipulate some verts. You can conform if you like. It would have to be a two-step process. Um, do this, just like that. Let's deselect these and pull these back, just like oh, just like this. There we go. And tweak as we go. I'm just, you know, improvising. I'm doing what I think will look good. I'll worry about if it's perfect after it's done. There we go. Let's take this line of verts and move them up just like that. And now let's take some of these and we'll just shift them down so that they're closer to where the spring surface is. There we go. Let's do the same on this end. And let's raise this up a little bit. Okay, now the whole thing may need to be moved down, but what I'm going to do now is add a shell modifier from the modifier list. There's shell. Right click that and go in the opposite direction. Just like that, add some segments, and I think we'll turbo smooth it with one iteration only. F4, there we go, that looks good. Let's call it uh, spring strap-01, and we'll clone that. Let's just shift and drag it to the other side as a copy, mirror it along the Y, position it, Okay, let's grab this other one, F3, exit isolation, and we're just going to, once again, just clone these down the line by holding shift and using the move tool. And just doing this. You may need to tweak them a little because we might have moved them according to the spacing on the spring, but you get the idea. That's good. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, see that needs a little adjustment. There we go. Okay, so now we have this piece that kind of attaches these springs to the chassis. Um, what we're going to do in the next exercise, I'm going to pause the video in a second, we're going to make this little stem <coughs> that comes off of this section, this drivetrain element, and then um, in the videos following, we're going to make a little, it's like a guide that kind of guides some of the linkages that are going to be here. It's, it's pretty much shaped like this, but it comes a little further back. So uh, I'm going to pause the video and we'll pick up where we left off.